Hello, my friend. You asked me how you can stop attaching so much importance to money. Well, it's hard to give an answer to that without being unrealistic. Realism dictates that money represents the value of our work. It is a token that stands in the place of what we would have bartered our work for, for our survival. So how can we do without money in society as it is? It matters greatly. Money is the vital indicator of whether we have resources to keep ourselves safe and can buy what we need or whether we are running out and are living in poverty or need to hold up our hands for somebody else to safeguard us and feed us. So earning your own money and your own keep, your own living is crucial. It's crucial to our self-esteem, but actually it's crucial to our very survival. Now, of course, funny things have happened to money since we first invented it. And all these arguments about added value and people investing money and taking profits from other people's work and creaming off and not really giving people back the value of the effort they've put in. Make it suspect. Money has become suspect because people play tricks with it. Slides of hand are everywhere and money is not what it seems. It's become unreal. It's become virtual. It isn't actually something tangible any longer and people can manipulate it cleverly, cleverly or do you out of it when you've actually earned it. So those are things that should make you suspicious of the machinations around money. But money in terms of, you know, the value that you've earned is pretty essential. So while when I was a teenager and a an young adult, I hated money and I wanted to live without it or with very little of it, almost, you know, making an oath of poverty at times and living amongst people without an income at times, looking after them. Although I'm glad I've experienced that, I'm also glad that I became aware when I had children that money was so important and how I hated having worries about money and always worrying I wouldn't be able to make ends meet and running out of it and then losing my job and fearing that I would go under because I wouldn't have anything to buy food for my children with for a while. That was really scary. So I've learned to appreciate the true value of money. And I've learned that by judicious management of it, by working extremely hard, by saving and doing the right things and not wasting it, you can eventually come to a position where you pay off your debts and where you can enjoy an illusory, I'm sure, sense of gratitude and contentment at the thought that you are temporarily safe. But then, of course, arrives the economy with its potential crashes and you know that you can never think you're safe and that whatever resources you have may be depleted because they're not real things. They're just figures 
on a computer screen. So at any time, your money could lose its value. So what does that teach us? It teaches us to value the things that we need and to make sure we have those without owing money on them so that they stay with us no matter what happens to the money markets. And we have the basics from which we can keep ourselves safe and the skills to earn new resources if it really goes crazy. So having basic objects, a basic safe space in the world and the basic skills to earn your living turn out to be the most important things well above money in the bank. So it's not about money, it's about safeguarding yourself and doing that in a light way instead of going under with worry or becoming obsessed with owning too much. It's about just enough in the right way, in a fair way, not taking more from the world than is righteously yours, but not depriving yourself in such a way that you spend all of your life in worry. So think about money and don't be afraid to value it because it matters. Take care, my friend.